Hello everyone, welcome back again. My name is Jesse, and then in today's tutorial, we're trying to see how to be able to route or find a particular template, how to be able to move to a particular template or file that you have in Flux and then in Express. So now let's see how to do that. It's called templating, right? So I'll name it as templating or routing, whatever it is, yeah, templating and routing, right? Okay, to a file. So we are trying to see that. So how do you do that in Express is quite simple. First of all, let's create a file. I'm going to save it as about inside the same place, right? I'm going to call it as let's call it as home. Dot html. It can be about, it can be anything. Perfect. Now here, I'm just going to create simple stuff. I'm going to call it as home micro frameworks, <laughs> right? Then let me put in something here too. So Express. Micro frame yes. perfect. This up. So now, how do you allow us to see it? There, there are two main basic ways you can do that. So first of all, we can just go with this format of app dot get, right? And then inside this app dot get, you're just going to keep it the same function to where it is. So let's call it as home. It's going to be around, and then we are going to call it as a function. So function can be done in this way. Can do a function like this format, right? This is one way of doing the function. This is going to be the function, right? Then we need to supply a request, a response, and then a request, right? Just like this place. Perfect. Now we said that this one was re re response dot send, right? But this is sending a message. So we will, how how can we send in a, a a file, a whole file? Because this is a whole file. This is just a simple message. You can just use the same idea. So instead of this response, it's going to be response dot send file, right? And going to supply two arguments. So with this dunder, it's going to give us the directory name, the current directory name. Then we're going to supply the next one, which is going to be the route to our file, which is going to be our home dot it html perfect so we are done with it and uh, let's see what is going to work so i'm going to save it and then i'm going to restart my app so node in this hope it doesn't give us any error okay listen on port 4000 let's come back and refresh it's working perfectly now if i change from this 4000 to home Perfect. So it's actually working. So you realize that the, our app is working. The home here, it was written here. Oops. Back to here. Our home here, micro expression, is the one seen here, right? So it actually, it's perfectly working. So that is one way of routing to a particular file in Express, right? So you use the send file instead of send. You're using send file. The next option we can do is instead of using send file, we can use what we call render. So now let's use the same thing. It's going to be method two, method two, right? It's going to be rendering. So, so first of all, how do you do that? We will need to import some stuff to do to be able to help us to do that. So first of all, we just need to go with this. Let's let me stop this. Then I'm just going to go with npm install. EGS, right? So it's going to add EGS to our file because EGS is very important to be able to help us to do our routing or our rendering. So when we are installing it, now let's see how to do that. So it's going to be from here app dot set, right? And then I'm going to create view and then engine. I'll explain it later. Then here I'm going to supply my EGS. Right, so EGS is what is going to be used. So that means that I'm supposed to make all this file an EGS file. So uh, inside here, I'll create another folder called views inside my here. Right, I'm going to call it as views. Create a folder called views. Perfect. So I've already created a folder called. Views here, right? There's nothing here. 
So inside here, since there's nothing there, I'm just going to create another file using the same stuff that we had inside our view. I'll call it as home. Let's call it something. Let's call it about about dot ejs, right? About dot ejs. So when you do it like that, you may be having issues. You can just change it to HTML. It's the same format of HTML. Then we can just do the stuff, basic stuff. So this is going to be our about page. Then this is going to be h2. This is about what? Express micro frame frameworks, right? Perfect. So we have need to do this EGS now. Perfect. Let's see whether it has finished installing. That's finished adding it to it perfectly. So now we can have access to it. So since that's finished installing it, now we are going to just go to call it app.set view engine and then EGS, right? Now we need to be able to see this particular file, this EGS file. So to do that, we're just going to go with the same thing. So app.get, right? App.get and then let's close it to take the route, which I'm going to call it as about. Let's call it about. And then here, it will take another function. So another way of writing a function is that instead of, you can do it like this function, response, and then you know, request first, and then response. Right, that is the perfect way. Then we just close it. So here is where we're going to send. So instead of this response.send file, is going to be response.render. Right, so the render is going to be used to render the file. And we're going to supply the name of our file here, the name of whatever thing that we have here, which is about. Right, so about. About. So it's going to look inside our views file here and check if and see if there is a, 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 an about it when it's routing. That is how it's going to be doing. So now let's check it and see. Let's start our app. So node index. Let's turn and let's come back to here. Then it's working. Now if you change to about. Perfect. This is about Express Framework. So that means that it is actually working. So that is the second method of doing it, right? So this function can be done in another method of this with this another alternative. Instead of writing a long function, the modern way can be this way. Just think of the function and bring an arrow, right? So it's still do the same thing as this one here. And it's still going to work. Okay, so that is another option for it. Okay. So that is how to route in express so now let's see how to route in flux so it's quite simple so let's move on back to our flux here so let me stop my okay so here we have nothing so first of all you need to create a template just like in app in express we created a view in flux you have to create a template folder so i'll call it m let's call it mkdr template right templates perfect right so it's going to create a template file then from here just go to our folder here that we had we realize that we had let me close this one this is our flux we have our basic app we have a te template file there's nothing there so we're going to create our file then that is for our flux here then I'm going to call it as home.html. So I'm just going to create something basic stuff. So flux micro framework. And I'm going to call it here to flux template. Right? Something like this. Perfect. Now, how do you see it? So first of all, just go with let's copy the same stuff. This is returning, right? But to do that, just do the same stuff. So I'll call this as our home. Then the route here is going to be called as a home, right? And then this is not going to be just return, just like in Express, we had respond or send, right? And then respond or send file. So and then respond or render. In Flux, it's not like this. It's return. It's still going to be there, but this time it's not going to be return. It's going to be render template. So since this is coming, this is going to help us to see whatever is our file. So render template, I'm going to supply 
the name of our file which is going to be home.html so it will, so it will automatically look inside our templates file so you have to import the render the, the template here perfect so now we are done and it's going to work perfectly for us so let's see how it's going to be done so here we have a file so python app.py so it's working on perfectly on our port 5000 which was here perfect so our port 5000 is working right this is plus so now let's move to our about our home page so slash home perfect is working so now that is quite very simple for flags right to do this 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 simple code is allowing us to be able to bring an entire file here so that is how to do that in flux so thank you for watching don't forget to thank you for watching so the basic idea is that in express you just have to install ejs right add it set it up then use either send file if you do, that is if you don't want to use this ejs you can just go with send file which is just similar to this or you can just if you want to use render then you need to use ejs that is the basic idea about it but in flux it's quite simple just import render template then you set render template and you have to create a folder called rent templates which is this and then for view you just have to create a folder called views so that is the basic similarity between them thank you for watching if you have any question or contribution you can put inside the comment section so that everybody can benefit please don't forget to subscribe stay blessed